In this lecture you'll learn about the ratio helper. Using this helper you can embed videos, iframes and more in a responsive way that maintains the aspect ratio. Here's the overview of the ratio helper class. In the first examples we have different aspect ratios of iframes with video players from Vimeo. So first we see the 1 by 1 ratio, the 4 by 3 ratio, the 16 by 9 ratio and the 21 by 9 ratio. Then we see the same four different kinds of aspect ratios applied to standard HTML elements. These are the ratio aspect ratios that you can use out of the box with Bootstrap. But however, you can easily set your own custom ratio using inline style, which I'll also show you. Just to demonstrate that these are actually responsive and will maintain the aspect ratio, let me just try to resize the browser window so we can see that they clearly are responsive when I resize the window. Now we'll go into our code editor and create the first examples. To, to add the aspect ratio to an element, we'll wrap it in the div tag with the class ratio and then define the aspect ratio in another class. So here it will be 1 dash 1 times 1. For this example I will add an iframe with a video player from Vimeo. I'll just open up the reference section here and I'll copy this URL. So we'll add an iframe and then you paste in your URL and we'll close the iframe again. In the next example we'll do something similar. We'll wrap our iframe in an element with the ratio class and this time the ratio 4 times 3 or 4 by 3 class. I'll add our iframe tag, go into our reference section here and copy these URLs. So I do this so we have an actually video and video player from Vimeo that has the same aspect ratio. Then in the next example, we add the div tag with the classes ratio and ratio 16 times 9 or 16 by 9. And then I go in here, copy this source file or source value, paste it in here into our iframe. And the last example in this section create a div tag with the class ratio and ratio 21x9 and we go in here and grab that example create our iframe with the source like so now let's save this go into the browser select our screencast tab and here we should see our first examples we have the one by one video the four by three video 16 by 9 video and the 21 by 9 video and they all look correct. Now let's see how we can apply this to standard HTML elements as well. So first we'll add some markup to see these examples. We'll first have a wrapping element with the deflex class and a line items start class. Inside of these we can now create uh, four components with these aspect ratios applied. So we have a div tag with the class ratio and ratio one by one, just as we saw from before. Inside of this, we have a p tag with the classes dflex, justify content center, align item center, and border. And the text will be one by one or one x one. Now we'll copy these three lines, paste them in three times and update these values here. So the second example will be four times three and the third example will be 16 by nine and the last example will be 21 by nine. So these are the exact same classes as used before. Now simply with 
a paragraph inside instead of an iframe. We have saved this, we'll go back and refresh, and here we see them. Let us, let us just resize the browser window so we can see that they maintain their aspect ratio. Yes, they do. Finally, let's see how we can create a custom ratio using some inline style. First, we add our wrapping element, div tag with the class ratio, and this time we won't add another class to specify the aspect ratio. Instead, we'll add an inline style, and here we'll overwrite a CSS variable set by bootstrap that has the name dash dash bs dash aspect dash ratio, like so. We'll set it to 50%. So this effectively changes the padding top value, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. Inside of this, we can actually copy our paragraph from up here and paste it in. And we'll change the text here to two by one, which is what we're gonna get when we add this padding top value or change this padding top value to 50%. Our next example will be 25% for the padding top value, which is equal to an aspect ratio of four by one. Let's save this, go back and refresh. And here we see the first two by one and the second four by one. It works when resizing it. And if we inspect this, we can now see here we have our CSS variable with the 50% value that we have specified as an inline style. And if we look at the before element, we can see that the padding top uses that exact, uh, exact value. So that is how this is working. So this was all about how to use the ratio helper classes.